Hi everyone, it's Ms. Goldman and we are here for our first lesson of Eureka Module 6. Now this lesson you'll remember, you'll see why some of, I was starting to ask you questions about your favorite colors. Because we're actually going to use your favorite colors to solve today's problems. And as always, if you miss this lesson, lie, it was live at 11 o'clock. So I hope to see you there tomorrow for it live. And um, also please remember, if you are printing out this module to um, print it out lesson by lesson, it is a smaller module. Um, there's only nine lessons in it, but there's still a lot of work that will need to be done. But if you're printing these out, try again as always to print them out lesson by lesson as to not waste paper. And if you are solving these on paper, because this module does involve a lot of drawing, make sure to send me pictures of your work either through email, Google Classroom, Class Dojo, so that you get credit for the work. Because of the drawings, I will be giving some extra time for um, you to do your work. And I'll, you can always pause, as always, if you need more time. So let's get going. So for this first part, I said, what is your favorite color? Survey the class to complete the tally chart below. So here you can see, I had surveyed all of you. These are who answered. So we're gonna use what data we have. So as you can see, we have one green, one red, five blue, one orange. So I did this first part for us. Number A said, use the tally chart to answer the following questions. How many students chose orange as their favorite color? Well, as we already said, one student chose orange as their favorite color. And we can see that right here. So now you're gonna do how many students chose yellow as their favorite color? Which student did cho students choose the most? And how many students chose it? What color did students choose the least? How many students chose it? What is the difference between the number of students in parts C and D? I'll give you a hint right now. That means it's going to be a subtraction problem. And then write an equation to show the total number of students surveyed on this chart. So take your time to answer these problems. All right, we are now going to start going over these answers. So here, how many students chose yellow as their favorite? Well, zero did. What uh, color did students choose the most? And how many chose it? So I wrote blue and five. Yellow was for our least, which was zero. What is the difference between the number of, for number of students for parts C and D? Well, that was simple for us. It was 5 minus 0 equals 5. Um, and for F, write an equation to show the total number of students surveyed at this chart. So you can see I just added it all up. 5 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals 8. All right, so let's keep going. So now what we're going to be doing is using this tally chart, again, to help us over here do this picture graph. So what we're going to do is each heart represents one student. So what we're going to do is now you are going to draw in hearts to fill in the rest. As you can see, I did green for us.
All right, and we're going to go over these answers. So as you can see, I just drew in hearts to match. Um, yeah, you can see there's still one green heart, one red heart, five blue hearts, and one orange heart. So let's keep going. So now we're going to do the same thing, but now each heart is going to represent two students. So you're going to have to get creative with that five and the ones. But you can see here's this blue heart I started to represents two, so you're going to have to finish the rest of these. All right, we're gonna go over the answers now. So as you can see for blue, I made two hearts. And then for these other ones, because it's an odd number, not an even number to represent two, I, did ha I drew half a heart. All right, let's keep going. All right, so What we're going to do now for these problems is a few more word problems, and then these are actually our last problems for this lesson. So what we're going to do is says, what does each heart represent now? Well, from this, each heart represents two students. Now you're going to draw a picture and write a number sentence to show how to represent three students in your picture graph. So how would you show it as three? Then, how many students does this many hearts represent? I'm not going to count them for you. You're going to count them, and then you're going to write a number sentence to show how you know. And then finally, for D, how many more hearts did you draw for the color that the students chose the most than the students who chose the least? Then write a number sentence to show the difference between the number of votes I'm just not even going to actually, you know what, I'm not going to underline any of it because it's getting a little messy, but I'll try highlighting. So how many more hearts did you draw for the color that the students chose the most than the least? Write a number sentence to show the difference between the number of votes for the most and the least. So work on that, those four problems, or three, I should say. All right, and we are going to go over the answers. If you need more time, just press pause. So, as you can see for B, it said draw a picture and write a number sentence to show how to represent three in your picture graph. So, you can see I already made a line to say that it's over here. So, I just rewrote the letters for the colors, and I said 
each circle now is going to represent three students. Uh, and each half circle represents one. So we have that. Over here, you can see it. We have one, one, five, and one. So over here, how many does this many hearts? Well, there are seven hearts here when you count them. And if we said each one represents two, two times seven is 14. And then finally, for how many hearts did you draw for the color of students? Well, I just did it from up here. So I said for hearts when it's equaling two, it would be seven because four, um, then 14 minus zero is 14 because we don't know what the least, there's nothing here for the least. So that's zero. So I hope you um, were able to get things out of this lesson and I will see you tomorrow at 11 o'clock for our live math lesson. If not, I hope to see you soon because I miss you. And as always, be safe, be smart, go for the gold, and see you tomorrow. Bye.